the best odds. Dota 2. Dafa Esports, powered by Dafabet. Visit us at dafabet.com. Give it to him, or are they going to steal it? They're all joking around, there's the Rampage! Abed and his Meepo jumps in, gets another kill. Uh, when carries used to buy drums, Black would, uh, since he's a very farming-oriented carry, at least at that time. Oh, they're going to make an initiation here on Dendi. Going to go for Dendi, trying to bait up some more spells, but man, go with his ultimate. Albert comes up before it. Controlled up a little bit here. General comes in. The static storm as well, but no Konami because they block him in. But the cards will make sure that the IO dies. Yeah, because them on the money here. And super, super low goes into this arena. Valentio nice. damage to pop his Aegis. He will come right back, but the rest of his team don't have the same luxury. Gems on the deck. Champion's still alive. They don't really want to get too close to him. So now it's an instant to try and make this into a worthwhile trade. Chappy. Oh, they see him here fall off on Light Striker Raid. Dendi exploding himself up and can you bring him down? Not so much. Four star back is enough. So it's four heroes down for only like what two? The fan is out of mind now. He might die here as well. Get the denial. Absolute disaster. The only ones. Now we'll finally go down. Dendi will just deny it, but he gets caught out for it. But nice little pressure. The Echo Slam. Roger turns things around. And now stalls with it. Well, gets relocated back out. Chris lies in the middle of that. Trying to man fight up against Chappy. Even without the ultimate, though, he's having some issues because the Souls Ghosting. The Souls Defend still zipping around. Nice cocks And once again from General. He's trying his best to control up these heroes. And stalls with does finally end up dying. Die back though. Okay, that's a good stun as well as <laughs> on the tether, but Chapley, he's still fighting. General eats the cheese so that he cut from earlier. Dendi with another triple kill here in the middle of that. And a couple of buybacks now on the side of Empire. I don't think anybody saw this game go to 95 minutes. Got the Echo Slam. Dendi's there to try and tear through people. Ghost Sick will just straight up fall. Chris Lies gets the next one. Look at these big crits on Chappie! That's it's GG, Navi is back boys, and they're heading to a minor. Why do you have to ruin this again? Oh, even better on the low ground, the two-man stun for Bulba. Start things off, look at immediately blow up, MP, but now QO Phoenix is here, but oh, he's been stunned up by the Beastmaster, letting the, the Razor be able to get away. Now they're gonna try and slow down some of these heroes, does manage to get the Ravage onto four, some of the low ground, some of the high ground, but QO, he's just not getting the opportunity to let out those swings. Bulba gets another stun onto him, he gets the stun onto Abed, but he's already dead to the physical damage. MSS in the back lines may end up diving to Bevy, but it's definitely digital chaos to fight until QO forces the buyback and goes for the kill on Abed, but if he dies here, this could just be Immortals completely throwing the game. He's losing all of his damage, has Amplify up on him, and he gets Rampaged by Abed. A just 250 HP, the Razor survives, and Roshan is theirs for the taking now, with 90 seconds on the clock for this fan. And maybe even a kill on Debbie the Boot. Mason catches them with the Yield Scepter, slows him down. Another Rampage for Abed, because why the hell? I What's your advice? <laughs> if that was the case, I would. Mason gets caught. Oh, and Mason is dead. Oh, maybe not. The shell grave's gonna come through. Now they do have the ice blast over that hero, so he's definitely dead. Moon Manor won't be able to heal him up. MSF, the back line's actually being taken out by MP. A nice two man stun. They need to get QO out of here, but he's already dead. Abed finishes him off. MP still dealing with the back line heroes, though, but can't save himself. Or maybe he can to Crepify and all that heal. Abed's getting a ton of Midas armor on. Stop me. Immortals will take game number one. You have to. He's sticking around, he's baiting. Look at this, Raven coming in from back, just waiting for the opportunity to hop in. Same for Sam A. And there it is now, Burst Strike only on one. They do get him though, maybe maybe not just yet. Lumix still alive now, Monkey King with the ultimate. Gets hit by the boat. As, uh, well, they did run down one for three step. Could be a good one though, if they can somehow find this kill. Nice silence, follow up control. 
Right there, there's snaps the call. Hold on. Well, they get him at least. He did get the ultimate off. So now, Stone Spear coming off cooldown. It's, it is there. We might as well throw it out now, but. Well, instead, they get hit by the combos and they actually burst it down by Cuckoo. Now the Static Song. Try and turn things around. Good glimpse back into it, too. Yes, team. Pops a flesh goal and there's a primal split in the face. BKB's coming out once again. Bubble put in the back lines. Resolution got the quick kill on Dying Illidan's actually dropping as well. The War Trap almost trapping him. Maybe giving him a barrier. He does end up going down, though. He has buyback on Dying. Actually, already buys back. Double kill for Resolution, though. And they take out the Arc Warden. So OG winning this fight right here. Pretty decisively, in fact. All they lost was a broom at. Not enough, though. And now he has to run, but I don't know if he's tanky enough, unfortunately. He gets four staffed out, though. Who did the defiance? Wards go down from Rasta. Trying to throw it them Rezo off, but... in. He really is, isn't he? Peksu. He's the one taking that damage. Locks down the Phantom Lancer, though. That's an Aegis use. Look at Arc Warden, by Let's the way. Let's in this. Arc Warden sent into a, in a Tempest Double into the face. But yeah, you see, a Resolution, he's dying, though, to the Arc Warden. And Resolution, oh, the top of at the last second. The fourth up from Thompson. It's not going to be enough to Lotus Orb. Yes, it is enough. They finish him off. He does have buyback, though, but Thompson's getting a lower member. No buyback he's himself, got, but it's just too much damage. He gets one kill. Reaper side. No, he's going to lock down with the Shackles. He couldn't use it because of that kiting away of Thompson. Put the bubble down, but it was too far away. He's dead for 130. OG trying That's to game. take game three. They get another kill to Reaver side as they take out Rasta. Buyback from Phantomancer. They need creeps. Smoking up. They do see that Roche on his own. Not sure they're going to have. They're probably going to force the fight. If they win the fight, they can either take base or Roshan. So that's pretty great. Hey, hey, Emil, they get stunned out. Oh, that's... Can't even finish my sentence. Puck does use his ultimate on the PS with the hacks as well. I'm not sure that's really the target for them. Ah, oh, Poppy in the meantime gets picked off in the background. And though, well, he absolutely survives the onslaught and pulls out the magnetize. But, oh boy, mouse sports. Yeah, they get wiped. Forced to call the GG here. So he was playing as if he didn't have a game. So he's not even going for a He's going for Radiance. I don't think that they can do anything about this push. Well, looks like they still want to, though. Ace is definitely in here, gets the net onto two with the charge coming in through as well. Fata is in them from behind. Lich falling very low, but there's the Alchemist with the stun. They still get the kill into Lich, but where's the follow-up? Doom is gonna die in Spiritbreaker. It's all by himself. The buyback from mid one, in fact. And he's gonna jump in as well, gets the chain onto two, but with the Mantis Nope, that's a dead Alchemist still hunt. In the meantime, Meepo finishes the hero. Nana, be careful here. He's pop. Okay, NB, losing quite a bit of health. Losing a little bit, Manta dodges the... I want to say he Manta dodged the Zeus ultimate. He's trying to go for the Sunder here. His eyes blasted up. <laughs> uh, that... <laughs> that's... that's a 50-50 right there, right guys? Oh, Pylite die! Bails out the Sama. Does he get some more? Does he get some more? He bails out the Sama in building out good. But now Pylite die is going to die a hero's death. Or will he? Oh no! Oh! What a champ this guy is. Oh no, he might still die here. Zeus blinks about in one second, but the Glimmer King jukes him out of it. And Excalibur now coming in there, slapping the heat onto Ice Ice Sight. Taking fire here. He can be deployed. Ice Ice Sight activates Ukong. And now, Jingu Mastery will come into play. Strikes down two heroes very quickly. But Eddie, but Eddie has a BKB ready to shoot some illusions, but oh oh, fuck. Don't really want to mess with the Sama. Doesn't mess with the Sama. Wise choice. Well, not even too tanky here, jumps forward, the coil though! Envy forgets that Agadim sets the coils do not snap even under, no, will snap even under BKB. Excalibur with a dual on Mushy. The, well, the spears though, coming in from Ohio, the Impetus doing damage, striking them down, and without buybacks, they are so down to the wire. Is Korea gonna tank the gank? Is Korea gonna tank the gank? No, the Korea doesn't know. Ice Blast flies, Excalibur in the back lines, the coil though, instant hex though, but Excalibur already removed from the game, Mushy gonna start hanging down, DJ Loki the slam, doesn't get it, Mushy, come on and jam, the space jam is ready, they're looking for the Sama, he does have the BKB, he will TP, but the bash from Mushy, it's time to fight, no running away, Terrorblade, Sunders up, fights Mushy, but immediately gets melted down, they have to earn that Mushy though, Terrorblade. That the agent is going to respawn, but immediately almost going to fall right away. He does the point of matter of